What's going on everybody? It's Game Unboxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Dimensions free roam video. So today we have, well, the drunken giraffe from what it seems. Yes, we have Matt Smith as the 11th Doctor in, of course, his TARDIS. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so obviously this is his TARDIS. I always like to give the TARDISes a good look around because they're just so awesome and so well recreated. One thing I like about this TARDIS is, um, the first thing I wanted to see is what happens when you jump down here. It just, like, pushes you back up. I just think that's kind of funny. And sometimes you can get it to push you up quite high as well. And you can also go down here, which is nice. Sadly, you know, none of the doors or anything open. Like, you know, where you would think you'd be able to go, but, uh, yeah, sadly you can't do anything like that. But, you know... Like I always say, if we ever get a full game, they could do t so much with the TARDIS. Not just this one, all of the TARDISes. There could be tons of hidden rooms and Easter eggs and references everywhere. Alright, so let's actually go do some stuff. So, first off, I want to show you some of his animations, obviously. So, we got his little tiptoe. Let's try and do the tiptoe. Is that his tiptoe? Yes, it is. Very nice. And we got his walk, which I love because he just holds his bow tie, which is just very respectful and cool. And then we have his run, and then we have his speeded up run, which is nice. And then we also have his run when he holds his sonic screwdriver. I'll just give you a good look at that. Very nice. The same as Peter Capaldi's in this game. I know Capaldi has a different screwdriver now, but uh, in you know at the time this was made, he had the same one as Matt. Uh, so yeah, that's the same one, but still cool. And I like that one. And like I said, you can run with it, which is really nice. And uh, actually, let's go. I'm going to try and see if we can get Matt to say something because remember last time in a couple of videos, I've jumped in like the the green stuff from uh, on Scarrow, and it usually makes the Doctor actually say something. So let's see if we can provoke him to say something just by well dying. <laughs> let's try it. Let's go up here. I think it's round the corner, isn't it? Ah, here we go. Okay, so we'll jump in this and see what happens. Bow ties are cool. Bow ties are cool. There we go. So I got him to say something in this episode. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. All right. Um, now then, let's get the TARDIS and go do some missions. All right. Woo! Yeah, I love the 11th Doctor. I think Matt Smith was amazing. And when he left, you know, it was just... It was so annoying <laughs> because... I just, it, it took me a while to get into Matt Smith, but when you get into Matt Smith and you start to really like that incarnation of the Doctor, you never want him to leave. He's, he just, he's so good. He really, really was, and I, and I really still miss him to this day. Don't get me wrong, Capaldi is fantastic. I really like Capaldi. I think he's brilliant, um, and I can't wait to show him off in this game. But I'm going to really, I really miss Matt. I just really do, and I can't wait till he comes back one day in, like, some special anniversary episode or something, because he will. He said he would do that anyway, I think. I think he said if there was ever, like, a Day of the Doctor kind of thing again, which there will be one day, of course, um, then he would do it, which is awesome. I hope you remember. Greetings. I would like to think that David would do it as well. Maybe some others. You know, it would be great to get more than just three Doctors um, in that episode. Distance to a mistake. I mean, I know... Ooh. Oh, cool. So he puts a fez on their head. That's his special move. I was wondering what Matt's special move would be. Um, and yes, as you can see here, he's attacking with a mop. Oh, and I just took out that guy again. The doctor really has something against him. And then, of course, we have the classic, um, you know, zap them with your sonic screwdriver. Or frighten them with it, because he just flashes the light. That's all he's doing. He's not really hurting them. Uh, and then he hits them with his mop. There we go again. It, it kind of clips through, because obviously... The fez isn't meant to be worn by uh, Zygons, but we'll do it on the clockwork droids, and that should work, I think. Hopefully. There we are. Boom. I'd imagine if we ever get a full LEGO Doctor Who game, they'd probably reuse a lot of the stuff from this game. So, like, the the animations and... Uh, not the animations, sorry. The, uh, you know, the designs, the textures and all that kind of stuff. So, like, the Zygons would probably look exactly like this. Or not. Maybe they would want to put even more detail in them. Who knows? But I think they look pretty perfect. I mean, when I look at these, I don't... I, I see Zygons. So that's what you want, you know. You, you want to actually be able to say, okay, that looks like a Zygon. Because if it doesn't, then... Well, you failed at making a Lego Zygon. Oh, sorry guys, my bad. No, stop hitting uh, Madame Vastra. 
don't want to hurt her. Go on, Matt. Yes, it's so funny fighting with a mob. I remember when I played uh, played this, you know, at EGX when I was playing it for the first time before the game came out, and I was playing with the Doctor Who content. Um, and I remember you playing as Matt and using this, and I was like, what on earth is this that he's attacking with? It looked like a mace in the build I played. I was really confused. Um, and then when the game came out, I asked uh, Stephen Sharples, uh, I said, you know, is it a mace still or, or, or what? And he was like, and he, was, he found it quite funny because obviously it's not a mace, it's a mop. But <laughs> when I first saw it for the first time, I had no idea what it was. And then he reminded me that it was actually a reference to uh, the 2000, not 2000, sorry, the uh, Series 5 fa finale, I think it was. I think that's when we see the mop, uh, one where Rory's a Roman, that kind of thing. So, yeah, that's what it's a reference to, which is great. Uh, so now knowing that I now knowing that it's a reference and, and not some random mace that the Eleventh Doctor is attacking people with m makes it a lot more a lot better really. Hey, I like it long story because I I honestly didn't like it. I was like, oh, I, everyone else attacks with their sonic screwdriver and he attacks with a mace, but thankfully it's not a mace. <laughs> ah, there you go. See, it puts a giant fez on their head, which covers their head as well. That's nice. Fezzes are cool. There you go. Attack! Yes. Boom. 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 I wonder if they'll ever add uh, Captain Jack. He could be pretty cool. Um, surprised he's not using any weapons though. He's just hitting people. You'd think they would have given him a gun or something. Whatever. That would have been cool. But, you know, if they, uh, in a full game, you'd probably have a gun and stuff. There's loads of stuff you could do. You could have, like, Mickey and Ricky and just... And Rose, oh man, imagine Rose when she comes back. That would be pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff you could do with that. Boom. Boom. I think uh, it would have been cool with this game. I was just thinking it would have been cool if... Um, obviously you have the fourth Doctor and he has his secondary TARDIS as well, which is great. But it would have been really nice if we also got Matt's second TARDIS. Now I know it's kind of just, um, it's, a, it's slightly different from Capaldi's, it's not that different. I think it's got like a different light and things like that. Um, it doesn't have all the books and stuff. But it would have been nice if we could have unlocked that version. Um, or like, it, it, you know, it, it only um, appears on the 11th day of every month, that kind of thing. That would have been pretty cool, but whatever. It's not a big deal, but it would have been nice. But I'm sure they would do that if they ever get a chance to play with Doctor Who um, at TT Games again. But at least you can go in here, which is technically that TARDIS, I think, isn't it? I think it is, yeah, because this is... Because um, the Trenzalore, you know, when he was on Trenzalore, this was the, the TARDIS that he had. That's the time stream. I don't want to jump in that. Look at that, just to give you a good look at Matt. Such a cool design. Really, really nice. And you can actually get this minifigure um, in the Doctor Who Lego set that recently came out that comes with the 12th Doctor, Clara, 11th, and all that good stuff. But, uh, if I remember correctly, the legs are a little different. Like, the legs, I think, are brown, but on this, they're black. I'll try and get it in the light just to show you. Yeah, you see, they're, they're, they're black on my screen, at least. Um, but apparently, with the actual Lego set, they're brown, so it's a tiny, tiny little difference. Which I'm not sure if it'll bother many people, but I just thought I'd mention it. It's just something I noticed. Oh, collect those studs. There we are. Right, what else have we got to do? Oh, clockwork droids. Let's go do that one. Glorious battle, you clockwork cowards. Greetings, clockwork cowards. Right. Where are they? Boom. 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 Oh, that was a nice one. I like that Fez move. I'm trying to think what's my favorite. I was really impressed by the War Doctor's special move, where he puts them in the uh, Gallifrey Falls No More painting. That would have been cool. I, I, I mean, that would have been cool. That was cool. What was I thinking? Yes, that was cool. I really like that one. Uh, I think that's one of my favorites, to be perfectly honest. Um, I, I did like the umbrella ones as well. That was cool. I'm trying to think what else there was. Um, 
The second doctor. That one was nice. I like that one. Uh, what else was there? The the ninth doctor, he doesn't necessarily use it as a we as a weapon, but I realized when you actually, you know, sit for a bit and make, make him idle so he doesn't move, uh, he actually gets his psychic paper out, which is pretty cool. It's a nice, uh, nice little thing. Nice little uh, animation. Okay, I'm almost done with these clockwork droids. And then after this, we'll of course be moving on to the 12th Doctor, and then that'll be the final Doctor Who video for LEGO Dimensions. At least for now, I mean, unless they add, um... I really, really hope they add Missy. I think adding Missy would add so much to the game, and, you know, it would add a lot of different variants and all that kind of stuff. It would just be really, really cool. It would allow me to, you know, just have as much fun as I am with the Doctor, because it's so cool being able to play as all the different incarnations of the Doctor, and it'd just be great to have the same with Missy. Or they could add Clara, like that idea that someone said where, um, you know, you, you add Clara and then what happens is if you hold down triangle, kind of similar to Peter Venkman where you can swap between Ray, Winston, Egon, etc. Uh, wait, that's all of them. <laughs> Ray, Winston, Egon and Venkman. Um, basically, it would be like that, but you could swap between Rose and Sarah Jane and Donna and Clara and uh, what's, what's her name? Uh, Amy and Rory and you know just all of them pretty much. All of the companions over the years. That's a really good idea. I, I would like to see that. I know I've mentioned it before but I definitely would like to see that. Either that or Missy would be the next Doctor Who pack I would like to see from LEGO Dimensions. But I don't, I don't know because I don't know if they're going to keep making packs based on franchises they already have. That I'm not really sure because if you think about it you know they're probably gonna add packs based on new franchises so the question is are they gonna completely forget about the franchises they already have and then that's it or we're we gonna get more like like DC Comics are we gonna get the flash you know plus the flash is gonna be in the Justice League movie so you think they would want to start advertising that character a lot more even though he's really popular on television you know they're, they're gonna want to advertise him I would say because we've already got Superman Aquaman Wonder Woman Batman Cyborg and I think that's it. So, yeah. Alright, have we got time for one more mission, maybe? I'm trying to think what else we've done. We've done the Zygon one. We've done the Clockwork Droids. Oh, there's a Dalek one we haven't done yet. I should probably do that one first, because it's just... It's the... It's the eh. You know, it's kind of just eh, that one. Basically, because you can't, you know... Use your special moves. Dalek, it's just a bunch of Daleks here. that you attack. Oh, Daleks. I know, Rusty. Come on, Rusty. Show me where the Daleks are for like the twelfth time. Daleks are Boom. Daleks must be destroyed. Yes. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite incarnation of the Doctor to play as in Lego Dimensions. Um, if I had to say my favorite to play as, it would probably be either. Oh man, that's a, actually a tough question. It might be tenth. I, I tenth and eleventh, I really enjoy playing as. But but like I said with the ninth Doctor video, you know I really do enjoy playing as him because it's very nostalgic and brings back memories of when I watched Doctor Who when I was very young. You know when it started in 2005 or when it returned in 2005. If you know what I mean. Um, so I do like playing him, but the War Doctor is great as well. And one of his animations when he's idling, it's pretty cool. It's um, he actually uses a gun and he shoots into the ground no more. He writes, uh, you know, with the it with the gun in, in the floor no more. It's pretty cool. Nice little reference. That version of the Doctor has lots of really cool references to the day of the Doctor. What with the Gallifrey Falls no more painting and uh, the no more with the gun. So, yeah. But I think my favourite is probably either 10th or, or 11th probably, just to run around as. Although I do play as William Hartnell a lot. Because, I don't know, I just really like that Doctor, I always have. I just think he's really cool. Um, yeah, I do, I, just, I think it's awesome. I think it's it's so cool to be able to fly around the TARDIS as that version of the Doctor um, with the old time music and everything. It's just, it's fun, you know? It's just really fun to relive the classics that way. But I do play as uh, Tom Baker quite a lot as well. Um, he's, a, he's another one of the my favorites from the classics. All right, let's go park the TARDIS somewhere. I'm gonna park it in here this time, just because I can. All right. There we are. Okay, so yeah, guys, that is pretty much it 
for the 11th Doctor Free Roam video, which is of course played by Matt Smith. Really, really cool. Uh, personally, I like playing as this Doctor. I like his uh, mop. I like his animations and everything. Uh, you know, the TT Games have done an amazing job on recreating all the Doctors, what with Matt's little, you know, animation where he holds a bow tie, with the mop, uh, just everything. There's little references and hidden things to do with all the Doctors in this game. You, you can really see that from this game alone. I mean, if, if they ever get the chance to make a full Doctor Who game, they will absolutely nail it. If you're a fan of Doctor Who, you would absolutely love whatever they make. And I can guarantee that, even though it hasn't even been made, I can guarantee a LEGO Doctor Who game would be incredible if it was made by TT Games. Because this alone is fantastic. And if you haven't picked it up, if you're a fan of Doctor Who, I highly recommend it. Oh, check this out. I love this animation. <laughs> Very cool. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. Stay tuned for lots more videos real soon. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.